God, I think someone's following us. <laughs> don't left here and see if he turns with us. Why is he turning here? The restaurant's the other way. I don't know. He uses that traffic app. Maybe there's an accident. Oh, so follow him. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Leonard, if you don't mind, I think I'm a little tired. I'm gonna call it a night. Sure, Dad. I'm a little tuckered out myself, though. I will see you all in the morning. Would you like to share a cab? That would be fine. Where are you staying? I'm at the Westin. Well, so am I. Could I interest you in a nightcap? I think that you could. <laughs> hey, guys, come on Hello, in. thank you. Good morning. Morning. Hello. How is everyone today? Good, and you? Good, good. Good. I'm good, too. Good. <laughs> so did you defile my mother or not? <laughs> You're being rude. Look, if I may, I can assure you, your mother and I did nothing more than share a cab and a conversation. Did that conversation include the phrase, your genitals are a joy to behold? <laughs> Look, I promise you, neither I nor anyone has ever said that. You don't know his girlfriend very well. <laughs> or what a joy it is to behold my genitals. How could you think that I would spend the night with a man I just met? A man named Jesus convinced you to build a church in Africa. You're kind of a sucker. Well, nothing happened, right? It's over. Until we get married a third time, you guys will never have to see each other again. Well, you know, actually, that's not the case. Mary may visit me in New York. Mm -hmm. And he's never been to Texas. Maybe we meet halfway. What, in the Chattahoochee National Forest in Georgia? <laughs> I can't be the only one that knows that's halfway. Not seriously going to visit each other. And why wouldn't we? Oh, please, you're just saying this to antagonize me. Not at all. Mary happens to be a wonderful woman. And if it antagonizes you, that's just a bonus. <laughs> Mary, I'm sorry you're in the middle of this. No, no, nothing to be sorry about. I genuinely like your father. What? Oh, but he's a mediocre academic. And according to Beverly, his sexual prowess is subpar. Huh? <laughs> he's basically Leonard with a bigger prostate. <laughs> Are you saying that my dad's not good enough for your mom? Yes, while well, also getting in a solid dig at you. Pretty efficient, huh? <laughs> I can't even... This is ridiculous. I I'm going across the hall. Well, why should you get to go and leave me here with your bickering parents? Fine, then you go. Well, I don't want to stay here with her. I'll go. I'll go with you. That still leaves me here with him. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> We're smart. We can figure this out. Okay, so... Mary and Beverly can't be together. Uh, Alfred and Beverly can't be together. Uh, Leonard and I can't be together. Now, I could be with Alfred, but I don't like his face. Oh, here, I've got it. Who's ready for a wedding? Great, now I have to start all over. 